Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to the Mustang News in the Morning. I'm Amber Lewis. And I'm Danny Ramsey. Is your third period class doing any interesting projects, labs, or activities? Please let us know so that we can send out Nate and Nico to capture the moment. Also, are there any classes interested in participating in our pledge segment? Please contact Mr. Whitaker and let him know. Listen up, Class of 2016. You can purchase your class t-shirts in Miss Bombie's room in 519 or in the CRC. All reforms will be taken until Monday, April 8th. The cost is $12 for one shirt and $20 for two. Now let's see what today's megabytes are with Amber. Our wonderful cafeteria staff has prepared for us a selection of fabulous lunches today. You may enjoy an Italian sub, chicken Caesar salad, or a hearty cheeseburger. Don't forget to side your meals with fresh fruits and vegetables. Now let's see what Danny is up to in the daily upload. Today in random news, Bubba Watson, professional golfer and last year's Masters champion, has made the transition from golf cart to hovercraft. He released a video Tuesday that showed him gliding over hazards and the fairways in Augusta. Watson said people just stared and laughed, but it seemed that people were interested in the hovercraft idea. In other news, the Easter Bunny was pulled over in California last weekend. A motorcyclist was pulled over by California Highway Patrol Saturday when officers noticed the bunny was not wearing a helmet. The officer then said that the suit caused a hazard and just let him off with a verbal warning. That's all for Random today. Now let's bring it to Amber with the local news. Today in local news for all you coffee fans, I suggest to ditch Wawa and go to one of the Kawa Coffee's five locations in either St. Petersburg or Tampa. They are offering a free cup to all Kawa first timers. Also, for all you Rihanna fans like myself, you can catch her in concert April 19th at the Tampa Bay Times Forum. As of right now, tickets are still being sold, but not for long. Now let's see what Lucy's up to in our weather app. Hey Mustangs, it's Lucy Argento here with today's current conditions. Right now it's 70 degrees out, the high today is 79 with a low of 67. The humidity level is at an uncomfortable 83%. We should be expecting light rain all day long as well as some afternoon and late night thunderstorms. The wind's blowing in from the south at 19 miles per hour and later on the sun is going to set around 749. The pollen forecast for the upcoming days keeps going up. Today it's at a medium 6.7 but tomorrow it will be higher to 8.8 .8 and even more on Saturday at 9.7. That's all for right now so let's go check out what Nico's up to at today's on scene. Sorry for the technical difficulties, maybe we'll come back to that later. The weather fact of the day is that although southern Florida is 400 miles closer to the tropics than northern Florida, it doesn't feel like it because of the prevailing sea breeze. Southern Florida is one of the warmest places on the United States mainland in winter. Now let's switch it over to Carly in the sports cage. Hey, what's up Mustangs? I'm Carly the Empire here in the sports cage. Our Miami Heat's longest winning streak has been broken by the Chicago Bulls. Tuesday night, the Knicks also beat our Heat, adding on another loss. Relying entirely on jumpers, Anthony tied his career high with 50 points. And the Knicks won their ninth straight game, topping the injury-depleted Miami Heat 102-90. In ESPN headlines, Auburn's football program changed players' grades, offered money to potential NFL draft picks, so they would return for their senior seasons and violated NCAA recruiting rules, according to a report by former New York Times and Sports Illustrated writer Selena Roberts. Our boys' district tennis roundup was yesterday, and now they're heading towards regionals. The runner-up spot of the night was in the balance until the final match with the Gators and our Mustangs tied at 11 points. Zach Kosepian pushed his team to regionals with a 6-4, 4-6, and 6-3 win over Hoover. Now let's go see what Nico's up to with today's On Scene. Thanks Lucy. I'm Nico Stead reporting live On Scene outside of the gymnasium where they are setting up to Prom Promise today in the gymnasium.
as you all know, prom is tomorrow, and prom promise is a friendly reminder to not use alcohol, drugs, or drive under the influence while going to or from prom. Mr. O'Hara's class will be putting on a play, so make sure you guys come check that out. I'm Nico Stead. Back to you guys in the studio, and stay safe. Today in national news, a 19-year-old boy by the name Nicholas Sindoya was missing from a, for a total of three days when fortunately he was found alive late Wednesday by rescue crews. Sindoya's friend Tyndall Jack's whereabouts are still unknown. As rescue crews continue to search for him, Sindoya prays for his friend in hopes that he will be found alive and safe. In other news, Dondre Moore of Alabama was pulled over by sheriff deputies and reportedly was texting with both hands and driving with his knees, all while his three-year-old and two other women were in the back seat. But that wasn't the only thing wrong. Deputies also found a stash of prescription drugs worth a grand total of $4,500. Police arrested both Moore and the two women. Now let's check out the latest campus news with Danny. Today in campus news, prom picture order forms are now available. Students must sign up for an appointment time in room 517. Order forms will be distributed through English classes, but space is limited, so reserve your session time today. Class of 2013 cap and gown porches will also be Friday, April 12th, and for everybody who will be attending prom this Friday, be sure to be safe. Now here's a skit on texting in class. Paul, why are you checking out your thigh? I think the better question is why are you checking out my thigh? Because it's kind of hard at work when the kid next to me is fiddling with his thighs the whole class. Well, actually, I'm texting. After you just got screamed at last period, are you dumb? So? So why am I even your friend? It's important. I gotta get a hold of this guy. You're texting me. Thank you for tuning in to the Mustang News of the Morning. I'm Amber Lewis. And I'm Danny Ramsey. Have a great Thursday.